What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Mythic Heroes. I know it's been a few days since we've had some videos, I've been really busy on our main channel with Idle Heroes, you guys should check that game out as well if you have not. But there's something I want to go over, I know it's a little bit later in the week than I should have got it to you guys, but I want to make sure nonetheless you were prepared for the future, and that is, we have a rotating schedule of two times events and like a daily pantheon, we can get two times Trial of Ascension rewards, we can get two times of Zodiac Cavern rewards, which to be honest this one is pretty good but there's one that really trumps all the rest and that is the fable agora now you might be asking well barry why is that i didn't do it properly this way either why is that well first off let me make sure we get our high top tier one done but the big difference here is uh, you can net a ton of diamonds off this event if you dispatch properly. So essentially, if you're just going through and you're just claiming out as many of the gem rewards as possible, and then you come up and reset it for simply 50 diamonds. Um, this is one thing that's really different compared to other games is in other games, you have to pay per quest essentially to reroll on here. You just spend 50 diamonds. Look at that, I just netted 350 and I only hit one quest right here. One quest, so I'm up 350 diamonds right now. I reset it again for 50. Uh, let's see, did we get anything there? No, so I wanna, I wanna math this out. So, so far, we're negative 100, but we've hit a 400. So we're 300 in the positive. This puts us down to 250. Oh, but look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness, hold on. So 350. <laughs> So we're up 750. Oh my god, 750. That's basically enough. Let's just say another 750. So that's up 1500 diamonds so far on this event. If we want to be specific, I guess we'll say 1470 diamonds. Now, when you get down to the last few, this is when it might not be as valuable, but I still do it anyway. Because uh, if we can hit one or two more, these are just going to be positives. Now, in this case down here, the last one is when it gets a little tricky. Because do you want to keep doing it for 50 and hopefully to high roll? You essentially, if you get 240, you can do it four times for free and still net a positive. But if you don't hit it within four, then you are potentially going into the negative and we're at the bad point so usually what i do is like when it gets down to one quest left i'll just go ahead and i'll go ahead and just take whatever is left there but you can see how many diamonds you can generate in the course of one day so that's what 800 we got about 750 thousand fifteen i mean that's like we netted two thousand diamonds in the positive just for the single day by re-rolling these quests now of course it really depends on what account you're on i can show it to you on my free to play as well we can switch on over to our free to play server and go give that a try too. This event is just absolutely amazing. And if you're not doing it every day, you are losing out on summons and diamonds essentially because you just get so many things from this event. So let me see what I did. I don't think I did it last. Yeah, I, I didn't do it today, but holy cow. Talk about a free to play role right here. Holy cow. So we're gonna get some diamonds here let's do a reset and of course hopefully get some more yet yeah, we hit three of them and like in this situation here of course we're getting lower amounts because we are on a lower tier and everything uh just gonna take the very last one but you can see how like how powerful this event can be absolutely amazing one of the best double bounties we have in the game so hopefully you guys enjoy this one make sure you're doing this diamond trick to, to basically kind of scam up some diamonds and i'll see you guys next time